Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and here on this channel we talk about writing, journaling, and productivity to help you curate a life that you love. So for today I did my first ever movie scrapbook spread and I honestly I didn't think I was going to do this but I did it anyway. <laughs> I surprised myself. So today we're doing the Dead Poet Society movie scrapbook spread and this is one of my favorite, all-time favorite movies. Uh, if I had like a top 10 favorite movies list, which I'm sure I have somewhere, um, it would definitely be on there. I love all of the quotes, it's such a quotable movie, uh, love Robin Williams and honestly that dark academia vibe, oh, we are here for it. So. Today we're going to be making a spread dedicated to this and there will be a little bit of ASMR in this video because it was such a good spread for that. So I did want to put a little bit of it in the editing when we were doing it so you will hear a little bit of that if you like ASMR. If you don't, well it's there anyway. So <laughs> before we get into it, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more journaling content like this. So let's go ahead and get on to this Dark Academia Dead Poet Society spread. So before we really get into the making of the spread and talking about this video, I wanted to play a little bit of journaling ASMR for you. So here you go. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't know why, but when I went back in um, and I was like re-watching this, I was like, oh my goodness, that was just some nice little like paper crinkling. I don't know why. I just really liked it. So I decided to make that a little bit of an ASMR kind of uh, ordeal. Um, so in this particular spread, I'm focusing mostly on, I guess, like uh, literature, like so these torn pages and uh, craft paper, again just because it kind of gives that vintage dark academia vibe. But going back to that whole ASMR thing, if you guys like it and you want more ASMR content, um, I'm starting to put some on TikTok. I know, I know, I, I'm on the TikToks now. <laughs> I feel like I'm way too old in mindset for this, but we're trying it out and uh, yeah, if you want to follow me there, you can. And if you want a more in like if you want more ASMR content on YouTube just let me know in the comments below because I would be happy to do it um I also realized that it was like in full time usually I speed things up so it's definitely a lot different to watch things happen in full time um so I'm not sure I don't know let me know your thoughts on all of that <laughs> but yeah so right here I'm using the paper the book paper to kind of create that background and I'm tying together this craft paper on both sides to make it more cohesive and again give it that vintage vibe that I'm going for. When I think of Dead Poet Society, I really do think vintage. I think of dark academia, I think of just academia in general uh, because they go to that all boys school. Um, I believe it's Welton, is that right? <laughs> and then they call it Helton? I mean, you know. <laughs> Um, I can't deny that I love this movie so, so much. It kind of inspired the aesthetic for my book, Witch in the Water, that I published last October. And I, I don't know, I just love the dark academia aesthetic so, so, so much, which is why you see it a lot in my scrapbook pages, because I'm still obsessed. What can we say? Also, if we're going to be talking about mistakes, I know I didn't even mention that word, but if we're going to talk about mistakes, let's point out the fact that I put poets with like an apostrophe, but that is not what's in the title. The title is just P-O-E-T-S. There is no apostrophe. And so, oops, <laughs> but it happened and it's okay. I, I'm not going to go back and try to cover it up or anything. It's a mistake and uh, we got to deal with it. 
Also, I sent this spread to a friend of mine and they asked why I chose the word chapter 11. Like, there's no point to it at all. Um, I guess I just like the font <laughs> that chapter 11 had and then it just kind of made me think of that academia like vibe again. So that's why it's there, but it doesn't really have any movie significance. Speaking of movie significance, I watched this movie probably back in middle school. That was the first time I think I saw it. And I just fell in love with the whole like carpe diem and like all the beautiful quotes in it about how words and art can change the world. I don't know. As, a, as an artist, as a writer, I really value those things. So I felt seen watching that movie and it's still one of my favorites. So over here on the left side, I took a picture from Canva, which is a bunch of like old fashioned writing. And I put that down on the bottom. And then next to it, I have these little dots with like different colors for like a color palette. I've seen people do this in other scrapbooks and I really wanted to try it out. I can't say that I like how it turned out exactly. I mean, it's interesting and I want to do something similar moving forward, but I think I'm going to attempt to do it in a different way. But it was interesting to actually see my color palette in colors all the way down. I've also been decorating with washi tapes, um, the neutral set that I purchased, and then I'm adding more photos and quotes that make me either think of Dead Poet Society or relate to it. So we have a little movie poster down at the bottom corner on the right side with the boys, and then at the top there is a quote from the movie that was just kind of put in a little picture and I put some washi tape around that and then the other photos are just books and pens and such that really make me I don't know feel and understand that dark academia vibe if that makes sense or that dead poet society type of feel <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense something else I wanted to do is I had all this white space and I knew I was going to use it for writing but I kind of wanted to add more texture and more visual interest so I ended up crinkling that paper and then using my uh, glue tape to kind of hold it down because again I really wanted to add more depth to the page without actually like <laughs> leaving the space completely blank and then I used these little um, like cardboard sticker type things uh, again just to kind of add more color and to make more room for writing and give it a more layered effect and eventually I will write a bunch of quotes in this book and I will talk about those in the final flip through. Alright, so that was the making of the Dead, the Dead Poet Society movie spread, and I really like how it turned out. Honestly, anything that I do that has that dark academia vintage vibe, I'm just all, I'm all for it, honestly. I don't know why it lacks bright color, and that just feeds my soul for some strange reason. <sighs> anyway, um, before we go on to this final flip through, I wanted to give a few thoughts on this particular journal spread. I think it went a lot smoother than the ones I've been doing recently, uh, and there's not a lot of interactive pieces to this one, but I did like how I tried out stamps and different design, which is something I kind of want to keep doing moving forward. So, anyway. Let's go ahead and get on to this final flip through and I will give you the rest of my thoughts when it comes to this spread, the making of it, and how it turned out. So as I mentioned, I did experiment with stamps. So right there you can see one of my book stamps um, on the left side, kind of in that lower middle section. I really wanted to try out that particular thing. And then of course I just put a bunch of quotes from the movie. So we have Carpe Diem, Oh Captain My Captain, uh, a quote on this top left side, no matter what anybody tells you, words and ideas can change the world. And then just a bunch of others that I thought really suited this uh, spread. Overall, I am really happy with how it turned out and I would love to do more movie spreads in the future. So let me know if you have any recommendations that you wanna see. All right, and that is all I have for you guys today. I really hope that you enjoyed this Dead Poet Society movie spread. If you want to see more movie spreads in the future, please be sure to leave a comment below suggesting one that you might wanna see me do, as well as any other spread ideas that come to your mind. Don't forget to 
like this video if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. So without further ado, thank you again, and I will catch you next time. Thank you.